representing Hammer Connor Hignard. Our referee in charge of the action is Dean Webb. This flyweight title fight is sponsored by SP Security, providing door and event security across the north. As you can see there, one of Hammer's sponsors. If you want to get some more information about them, you can visit their website at www.spsecuritycontractors.co.uk. And referee Dean Weir starts this flyweight title fight. Mike Berry looking the bigger of the two gentlemen in the cage right now. Connor Hignett looking a little bit smaller. Possibly going to have the speed advantage, the dexterity advantage as they trade leg kicks to start this flyweight title fight. Nice combination from Conor Hignett there, finishing with a lovely left low, uh, right low kick, forgive me. Targeting the thighs of Mike Berry. Just what you get with these uh, flyweight guys, some electric, electric pace, electric speed, real snappy shots. Two nice shots from Mike Berry there, left and the right, both connected. He's pinning Hignett against the cage now, trying to drop some knees to the head. Hignett defending well. Yeah, nicely covered up by Hignett just to prevent any uh, damage from those knees because uh, a steady flurry of them from Mike Berry. Generating some real power with those knees against the cage is Mike Berry. Switching now, changing levels for a takedown. Hignett trying to dig in to defend, doesn't manage it and he's taken down by Mike Berry in the first round here, Jez. And this scenario, we want to see, uh, you know, Connor really come to his own. You know, he's great on the ground. He trains with uh, a great team. We know all about the the, uh, the Hammer guys, Callum uh, Callum Gagan, top quality uh, ground ground game. And Connor Hignett switching for a knee bar there, trying to roll underneath. He's got to be careful when you switch for a knee bar. You do leave your head open, and Mike Berry taking advantage of that now, dropping some big shots. Yeah, you don't have to invite Mike Berry twice, do you? You certainly don't. Hignett now raising those legs, perhaps looking to get a triangle, but he's ended up in full guard. Yeah, Mike Berry's going to have a nice, wants to have a nice posture here, trying to get away. It's Hignett well. controlling the wrist there. Berry breaks free and lands some big shots. That's big ground and pound for Mike Berry. Nice up kick from Connor Hignett though, and again Hignett switching for that knee. Yeah, trying to. And now going for the arm. Connor Hignett looking for the armbar here. He needs to get his, his, his leg over the face of Mike Berry. He doesn't think he's going to do that from this position. No, Berry doing well, looking, looking to, to kind of look, just close a gap, not give him any space, which is what it's all about when it comes to grappling. But he's got, he had the arm, uh, he's, excuse me, he had the leg in front of Mike Berry's face there, but Berry able to pull out. He needs to be careful here. And Connor looking for an Oma Plata. He's locked the armor platter up. He's not going to get a submission from it from this position, but he could use it to sweep Mike Berry. Or at the very least, control his posture. He's got that arm firmly locked up between his legs, causing a bit of a stalemate at this point, is Conor Hignett. Looking to use the cage to walk out, but Mike Berry now inside control, looking to isolate that arm into a crucifix position. Doesn't get it with only 10 seconds left. What can Mike Berry do to end this round strongly? Land some big shots. And Berry dropping some big hammer fist to end that first round. And Jez, our FCC champion, Connor Hignett, in a little bit of trouble here at the end of that first period. Yeah, an impressive start there from Mike Berry. He said earlier Brad he was going to bring it, didn't he? You know, he likes to force it, he likes to put the pressure on, and he absolutely loaded up it, uh, on Connor Hignett. Uh, got him into a strong position. Connor doing well, keeping nice and busy off his back. But uh, Mike Berry had, had a clear answer to every single position and was finding a way through with that ground and pound, really softening Connor up. Now, Conor McGregor's coach yesterday said they want a five-round fight because that plays into their hands. Possible we're going to see that now. Conor's looking to take Mike Berry into deep water because he really struggled in that first round. But how long can Mike Berry keep up that kind of torrid pace is the question that, that's at hand here now, Jez. I don't know. I mean, he looks OK at the moment, doesn't he? But, you know, it's still the first and uh, there's a long way to go on his fighters yet. Let's see what his conditioning is like. We've seen guys win three or four rounds and, and then end up losing by TKO or submission in the fifth. If that's Connor's game plan, then, you know, who knows which way this one's going to go. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, Connor's got more experience at his title level, hasn't he? That's the thing, you know, whether, whether Mike's prepared to, to go into the fives, you know, if he's not had a lot of opportunity to, to, to actually put a game plan together like that, you know, he gets taken into his dark, dark, dark stages and, uh, yeah, comes unstuck. But, yeah, all to see here. We're only in the second. A long way to go as yet. 
<laughs> oh, spinning kick from Conor McGregor there. Yeah, Mike Berry's face is uh, marked up as well. Conor Hignett, sorry, not Conor McGregor. Mike Berry's got Conor's neck. He jumps into that guillotine. This is tight. Very tight. This is now. really tight. Mike Berry taps out Conor Hignett. Unbelievable. And obviously a lot of concern here just for Connor. That was an extremely tight guillotine there. Great awareness from Mike Berry. Jumped and pulled the guard. Had Connor's neck, sunk it in, and that was really, really deep. Tightened it up so quickly. And uh, <laughs> new flyweight champion of FCC.